Today, it's an honor to speak with a great, great English actor. We have seen him in The Crown, Doctor Who, and on April 1st, he will be in the new Sony Marvel movie called Morbius. Please welcome Matt Smith. Hey, man, how's it going for you? Hey, man, how's it going, dude? How's things? Nice to meet you. I'm great. I'm super excited to talk to you. First of all, congratulations for this role. We are so excited. And my first question is, how is this movie different from others related to superheroes? Well, I think I think in many ways, this movie feels slightly more domestic. You know, it's about a small group of characters and it feels, um, you know, you're you're it's a slightly smaller world that you're focused on, really. Um, and, you know, we're, we're, that we're trying to blend a sort of a Marvel horror genre together in many respects as well. So we'll see, you know, hopefully people respond to it and enjoy it and go to theatres to watch. What about your character, Milo? Because there is a mystery of Halo around him. Well, yeah, you know, he's he's sort of slightly unknown, isn't he? And um, he's very affluent, very rich, and 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 um, has spent his life on the sidelines, really, and 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 encounters the opportunity to sort of take on great power, which comes with great responsibility, and and gets it slightly wrong. We know there is also dark side in Milo. Can you? describe him compare of how Morbius is? Yes, well, I think Michael, look, they're, they're kind of best, they're best friends and, and they're both trying to find a cure for this blood disease, which is very rare, which, which, which they've been afflicted with their whole life. And, you know, I think, I think um, Michael's brilliant brain and, and, and sort of fascination with science is something that Milo's never really had. And he's probably been on the sidelines a bit more as a, as a result of that become a bit bored and a bit ostracized and a bit outside of of everyone's sphere so so when he's presented with this opportunity to transform into something else he takes it the wrong way and just goes a bit mad which is understandable though you know he yeah. really loves being a vampire basically he says yeah this is what i want to do i'm up for it oh my god that will be great matt uh, can you tell us a little bit about your next project That is House of the Dragon. We still not we, we still don't know the release yet. Uh, uh, are you guys going to be in Comic Con? How is it be being Damon? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it was um, it was certainly an interesting process. It was it, it was a tough and long shoot, uh, but we, we we've sort of done it now. And I'm I'm the same as everyone else, really. I'm I'm in the dark. I've not seen a single thing. So <laughs> uh, I'm waiting to see how it turns out, like everybody else. Oh my God. Like wig and swing a sword and ride the dragon and all that. Yeah, I'm super excited because I have a House of the Dragon YouTube channel. Can you please say hello to all Latin American people? Yeah, that of course. Hello to all the Latin American people who watch your House of the Dragon YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy it, guys. I really do. Thank you, Matt. And one final question. If you have superpowers, what would you choose to have? Fly or be invisible or both if I could. But I have my whim and fancy, you know, I have to be able to switch it on and off. What would your superpower be? I don't know, maybe be un invincible, invincible, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, really. Bulletproof, bulletproof, like Superman. Oh, right, nice, okay, why not, cool, it's a nice one. Thank you so much, Matt, you are so able. I send you a big hug, and yeah. I'm a great fan of you, man, I'm a great oh, fan of you. Well, I'm really shaking nice I'm shaking. No, don't be silly. Come on now. Hey, it's good to meet you. Have a great day. Thank you for your time. Dream come true, man. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Like Bye, mate. See you later.